Okay, what is going on, Miguel team? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, remember, consider like, subscribing, and commenting down below if you have any questions. Let's get straight into the video. So today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Brave New Coin Liquid Index of Bitcoin. We're gonna be taking a look at a seven day chart, and we're gonna be using the log scale. Now I'm gonna show you three very important lines. These lines are used to predict the tops and bottoms of basically all the moves since 2017 to current date and I'm going to be showing you again uh, them again today and we're going to be looking at them and we're going to be trying to figure out where the bottom is going to be. We do have our prediction of $22,000 to $26,000 and we think that's going to happen around July this year. That's where we think the bottom is going to be. I do have cases for a potential lower price. We're not going to discuss that yet. Today's video we're going to be discussing where do we think the bottom is going to be based on the data I'm about to show you. So let's take a look. Let's look at the data. We've got three lines I want to show you today. These are the three lines. I've talked about these lines in previous videos. If you've watched any of my earlier videos on this channel, or if you've watched any of my collaboration videos with Wolves of Crypto, I've discussed these lines in a lot more detail. So I'm going to assume you guys know the general gist of what they are. So I'm going to quickly, briefly go over it, but I'm not going to go into too much detail. Basically, this was the bull market in 2013-14. Uh, this was the bull market in 2017-18. And uh, this was the bull market in 2021. Now, obviously, global pandemics, interest rates, all these kind of things, right? There's a lot that went on and a lot of global events that went on, which suppressed the price of Bitcoin, I would say, a lot. And in my opinion, this whole move happened too soon. I think if you look at the adoption cycle and the amount of FOMO, especially around shit coins, and a lot of the money went away from these large caps and Bitcoin into all these meme coins, it drastically reduced the potential of the bull market in 2021. Anyway, enough about that. Those are the cycles we broke down, obviously had that retest confirmation rejection, and this was our local top. This was our high, this was 69,000, the highest Bitcoin price went, and obviously we've been crashing down ever since. I do wanna point out this bottom line. Now this bottom line is the line we're focusing on today. As you can see, this bottom line has provided a, a lot of support for Bitcoin. The entire 2018 bear market, uh, 2000, sorry, 2015 to 2016-17 bear market remained basically on this line as support with only a few candles below. All right, we had that local, we had the absolute bottom here on the 20th of August to the 15th of August, 2015. We had a few wicks below on the weekly, but no closes below again. If we take a look, let's remove those. If we take a look at 2018. Uh, 2018, we had our sorry, 2018, we had our initial drop down to retest this support line. We found support on that line for, I would say, three to four months before moving back up to retest this trend line, which we have done here only to get rejected back down, right? We're seeing a very similar thing happen here, rejection back down to that trend line. Right? We're seeing that exact pattern play out. I'm gonna move the chart up a little bit. Here we go. So that we're seeing that exact pattern play out. What happens next? We saw a little bounce on this trend line. We saw that bounce on that trend line, very small bounce, followed by a strong rejection below. This is obviously caused by the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, the entire market, including the stock market, had a massive sell-off, which rejected us all the way down underneath that trend line to the 200 moving average. We actually went to a low price of around $4,000 before bottoming out, but we closed that candle on that 200 day moving average at five and a half thousand. From then we pushed up again, rejection on that trend line, knocked down again, rejection on the trend line, knocked down. When we finally broke up above that trend line, that is when we went into a new parabolic run. Okay, so now we've got the basic information. Let's take a look at what we're talking about here. So what do we think is going to happen here? There's two scenarios. Scenario number one, and we've talked about these in a little bit less detail, but we still talked mentioned these. And what we talked about in the previous video was $35,000 being that critical zone of support. We're going to flip back to our chart real quickly. Here it is. We've been telling you guys ever since we lost this yellow line, ever since we lost this yellow line that we'll be heading down on the Bitcoin chart. All right, we have done that, we've come down, and our target was 35,000. This $35,000 line here on the, on the normal chart lines up with this uh, ascending support line on the log chart. It lines up, all right? That's not a coincidence, guys. 
It's not a coincidence that $35,000 support is the most important support on the chart right now. If we lose that support, we will be heading down into this support range and this is where I expect our bottom to be. $22,000 to $26,000, I expect us to bottom out at that range. If we take a look at the Brave New Coin Liquid Index chart and we look where the 200 day moving average is right now, the 200 day moving average is at $20,000. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a distance move. We're gonna go at length and height. What we'll do, we'll get our, our date out. So we're gonna assume that, what is it now? So we'll say our prediction was July. All right, by July, June, July is here. That was our prediction. We're gonna copy and paste that. All right, we're gonna move it just underneath like this to get our height. Hang with me for a sec, guys. It's a little bit fidgety to get our height. All right, we'll drag it down to this point here. All right, what we're gonna do from here, we're gonna shift that back over. We now we have our height, we have our length. We can get rid of the original one. All right, and we expect that 200 day moving average to be within this range in the next two or three months, right? That is where we expect the bottom to be at that level. So if we follow through what we've seen before, which is breaking below that $35,000 support, remember 35,000 matches up with the with the ascending support line here, which is our major, major long-term support. This is a very strong support, all right? You can see how strong this support is. Look how much data we have. It is incredibly important we hold this level to push back higher. but. If we do lose that level, which is a very strong possibility, I do expect a very rapid drop, all right, down towards this level. And what does it line up to be? Take a look at that. It lines up $22,000, $22,000 to currently about $24,000, right? So we've got $22,000, $26,000 as our prediction, just to, you know, because just to account for any discrepancies in our prediction. And obviously you can't always 100% predict the bottom. Predicting the bottom is very difficult. It's easier to predict a range, a support range. So what would that look like on the chart? It would look like something like this. All right, we, we have maybe some bit of support. If we drop down, all right, if we find a bottom and then we move back up, all right? That is possibly what we would see. I'm not gonna go, obviously take that with a grain of salt. It's very hard to predict what's gonna happen in that scenario. But what I am saying, if we lose the support line, expect to see a huge drop. This is the final line of support. 35,000 is a final line of support before we crash down to that 200 day moving average. And we've been telling you guys about this prediction for, geez, it's been like three and a half months, maybe or three months. We've been telling you this is gonna happen. And everything that I've said three and a half months ago has happened and it's happened very, very uh, precise in regards to what we told you. So there's no reason why it's not gonna follow what we're gonna say again. We're, we've, we're analyzing a chart, it's very unbiased, taking a look at all the data and using that data to give you the most accurate, educated and possible predictions we can give you. So guys, if you liked the video, remember like, comment and subscribe. Um, we always got new videos coming out. We're gonna do a few old coins videos in the next few days. I hope you watched our top five tips to become a more profitable trader video. If you haven't, go check it out. It didn't get a lot of traction uh, for some reason, educational content on YouTube doesn't really pop off as much as these kind of videos, but needless to say, the information in those videos is 10 times more valuable than information in these videos because you can apply that information endlessly and it's timeless. Where this expires, this information expires in a few months from now, this analysis is going to be useless and we're going to have to do a new one. So. Take a look at those videos. Don't underestimate how much information you can actually get from that and how much how much value those videos have. Take the two or three minutes or whatever it is to watch those videos and stay up to date and become a better trader because if anything, if you gain anything from this channel, guys, and this is why I made the channel, is to help you guys become more profitable, but also to help you guys become more confident and competent in the market, particularly in the crypto market where there is a lot of misinformation and a lot of basically bullshit going around, particularly spread by these big influencers. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be away tomorrow. So we won't, we won't, there will not be a video out tomorrow, but I'll see you on the next day. Take care.